Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video we're going to be covering where to farm Essence of Earth in Classic WoW. So the first location and the best location is going to be here in Silithus, in the northeastern corner of the map, northwestern corner of the map, sorry, in the Crystal Vale. Very easy to spot, almost impossible to miss. And here you're going to find Elemental Airs, which are on the outskirts, which you see right over there, the Dust Stormer. And you're going to find these dust desert ramblers, rumblers rather, that are in this crystal veil portion of the area. So if you're looking at the map right now on my screen, the area I'm circling and this area are where the elemental airs are. Everything in between there are going to be these earth elementals. Now, I highly recommend that if you're farming in this area, you hunt both the air and earth elementals because you can sell the essence of airs for way more than the essence of earth. You can buy like five or six essence of earths for one essence of air. So there's no reason for you to not hunt the air elementals as well. And uh, due to the fact that there are so many enemies at this camp, you're going to, uh, it makes it a lot easier if there's other people farming too. And uh, that's another reason that I tend to prefer this location over any of the other ones. Let me get to a safe spot and then I will switch to my character in Fellwood, which is the second location and arguably one of the lesser ones to farm Essence of Earth. Now, here you're going to farm these Infernal Body Cards and Infernal Sentries. They are elite, which will make it more difficult for some players but they are in the lower 50s so that uh should make it a little bit easier you can probably handle one on your own also you can farm the fire elementals in this area which you can get elemental fire quite valuable and as uh essence of fire as well from them there's going to be a bunch of herbs in this area as well as the small thorium that you've seen in the silithus camp you're also going to be able to find rich thorium and normal thorium so those are things to keep in mind when you're farming at either of these locations. This Fellwood location, I wouldn't honestly recommend it, but this mob does drop Essence of Earth, and I would be remiss if I did not mention it. There's also an uh, Essence of Earth farming location in Ungaro Crater, which you see me at right now on this character. The enemies you're going to want to be farming in this zone are the Stone Guardians. They patrol around basically the entire zone, and... I'm not going to say a random path, but a quite large path. So, so it'll be hard for you to find their exact path and where they are along it. You mostly just be running around. Uh, their run speed is a little bit higher than average. So if you're going to hunt them, it's most likely going to have to be with like a hunter or somebody that can reliably kite them. They're level 61 uh, or I'm pretty sure level 60 elites. And for that reason... It's very, very unlikely you're going to be able to take one out without kiting it. Keep that in mind before you decide to waste your time and come here. Because chances are the majority of you listening to this video will not be able to hunt those. And there's one more location which we're going to address too, which is in Burning Steps. Two locations actually in Burning Steps. First, the Obsidian Elementals in Burning Steps, which you can see on the map right here. As you can see, they're all around Dreadmall Rock and also around the bottom portion of the zone. There's also Fire Elementals mixed in with these guys, as far as I remember. Also, the Greater Obsidian Elementals, these guys are also found around the little packets of like lava and uh, whatever you would call it, the scars across the Burning Steps. These guys also have a chance of dropping the uh, Essence of Earth. This is the Stone Guardian that you're going to be looking for in Ungaro Crater if you do decide to take that route. But again, not the most recommended location. Now, for all of you that uh, don't feel like farming Essence of Earth, but you stumbled upon this video because you really, really need it, don't forget to check the auction house because you can get tons of Essence of Earth from Molten Core, as you can see on this page, and that is going to dramatically lower the price of it in the auction house. Now, there are other ways for you to get Essence of Earth too, which is Alchemy. Alchemy will allow you to transmute Essence of Life to Essence of Earth, as well as Essence of Fire to Essence of Earth. The person will need the patterns, though, and it's kind of difficult to get the patterns at this current time. Some of them are reputation grinds, some of them are sold by vendors in esoteric locations, and it's a, it's a handful. But that's pretty much all you guys need to know about farming Essence of Earth. 
here's the Stone Guardian and Ungro. So that's basically exactly what you're looking for. But Silithus, best location, come here first and stay here. The other locations I'm just mentioning for posterity's sake. Use Silithus if you're planning to farm for Essence of Earth. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one.